Joseph and Myers here. Jeff, that uh, 105 k stage this morning, were you disappointed that was camp? No. No. Too much of a lot for him there, really, and, um, well, I just enjoy this shorter stage. I'm a bit older, I get a bit puffed in there. 105 k is a long way. <laughs> in fact, the cars sound pretty crisp. Yeah, it's uh, going well. We fixed the wheel oil leak this morning with the extra service, and uh, otherwise we've got no problems, so I'm really happy. Oh, good. Look forward to this afternoon, then. Too right. See you in Invercargill. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Lunch break at Cluther and we've been up on a stage up in these hills in the back here. It is cold, mightily cold. In fact, the 105k stage that goes all the way looping around the Lammermoor range and ends up down by Lake Onslow was cancelled this morning because the snow was too thick to get through. Even the four-wheel drives in front of the cars couldn't get through it. So a much shorter day for the guys. Some are happy about that. Some not so happy. Simon, we thought of you this morning in that 100k stage. Are you a little disappointed it was cancelled? 100% um, disappointed. The fact that last year, or four years ago when I was last here, that um, that was the stage that I went off in and uh, that was the end of the rally. So, yeah, I would love to have gone through there and uh, um, completed the stage and finished it. So, yeah, to my big disappointment that is, but I think that uh, it's probably worked in our favour a little bit with the Datsun. The Datsun, he's pushing really hard now and that would have been a stage that he probably had a bit of an advantage on. So, so from that point of view, I'm happy. So it's a balance, isn't it? John, we thought of you this morning, not only for the work overnight, but a 100k stage that might have given you some chance to make a bit. Were you disappointed? Uh, no, the uh, cancellation of that 105k stage uh, probably saved our bacon today. Um, we came through that first stage okay. Uh, second gear change on the transport, bang, jammed in third gear. So it uh, took us an hour to change the gearbox on the side of the road um, and with, the with that stage being cancelled um, allowed us enough time to change it and, and, and arrive at the next stage without any penalty. So we're still penalty free. Um, we made a few more mods to the car. In the last stage we had the bonnet pin come out of the right hand side so we did half the stage with the bonnet up about a foot which is quite daunting to think that there's only one pin between, between being able to see and been who knows what. Um, what else do I have? I had a screw come out of the roof vent that fell into my lap and I thought that it was a snake or a spider or something so I looked down and when I looked up we weren't on the road anymore. Um, do you want a tip? Um, do you, do you want a wee tip? No snakes or spiders. No snakes. Yeah well hopefully all our snakes and spiders are gone now um, but the wind blew our bonnet up when we had we're doing the gearbox. We had the bonnet up and uh, the wind so strong that it Blew the bonnet up and smashed our new windscreen, so um, we'll be on to windscreen three by the end of the day. But um, hey, if that's, if that's how things have gone today, well, maybe tomorrow's going to be our day. I'd have to say your luck's actually holding quite well. Yeah, I think I'm on par, actually. Yeah.